What's up, fight fans? Spencer Lazar here. MMA interviews, a little special live interview with Jared the Jackhammer Papazian, longtime friend of mine, exciting fighter. I mean, going back to the days of King of the Cage with you versus Jimmy Rivera, that's when we met. And man, you will bring it every time you fight. You've got a trilogy fight versus Terion Flash Ware. Um, beat him in MMA, lost women boxing. Now you're fighting for a CXF title. This weekend, talk about the fight, man. Yeah, you know uh, it's going to be a big fight. You know I'm fighting Terry on for the third time. Um, we both been uh, having a little rivalry for the last four years. I uh, first fought him back in uh, 2013. My first fight coming back out from the UFC. I won a unanimous unanimous decision, and uh, he's been on a tear. Uh, in the regional scene and also fighting for RFA title, Tachi title. So he's been killing it. So, um, and then also we fought in boxing and he beat me in boxing and now we're back to fighting again. How did that boxing match come to, to happen? Because, um, you know, I know you were doing some boxing. You were, you had a couple fights in boxing, you know, he, he likes to box of course. So it's just kind of crazy though. Two MMA guys going over into boxing and fight. Yeah. You know, uh, I took a year off from MMA to focus on boxing. I was coming off two two knockouts in uh, boxing. And uh, I guess he was supposed to make his boxing debut. And his opponent dropped out. So I got a phone call on four or five days notice from Ed Holmes, who's a good friend of mine, and uh, asked me to fill in if I was willing to fight Terry on on a couple days notice. And I said, sure, let's do it. Nice. Um so back to MMA now for this third fight. And, you know, in some senses, I guess it's, a, it's such a different thing. It's hard to even really call it a trilogy. But the fact is you guys will have fought three times after this. So, I mean, talk about going back to MMA, though, versus – and how much he's changed. You know, I know he, you know he probably learned a lot just from the fight against you. And, of course, like you said, he's been on a tear winning, you know, a number of fights. And, and you know, I know he believes he should be in the UFC. You've been in the UFC. I mean, talk about what this fight means to both of you as well. I believe there's a lot of eyes on this fight. Um, like he's on a three-fight win streak. Um, he's one of the top uh, bantamweights outside the UFC. Fought an RFA on top of the title. So um, he's always came up short. But um, I'm on my way back. I feel like I'm on a two-fight win streak. I beat, I beat some notable names, and uh, he was supposed to fight Chris Beal, and for some reason that didn't happen. I was supposed to fight Willie Gates, and that didn't happen, so they decided to put us both together. So uh, let's do it. Um, what are your goals? I mean, I know you've been focused on this going back to the UFC. You've been so – your eye on it, you know, ever since you left, really. And um, talk about what this fight – would mean for the potential of that happening. And then, of course, we also mentioned, you know, the PFL opening and some interest in there. And, of course, Bellator is there and growing as well. Yeah, you know, uh, my whole goal is to go back to UFC and not just go to UFC. I mean, I've been in the UFC. I'm, I just don't want to go back to UFC and say, oh, I, I've been in the UFC. I, I've done that. I don't want to just do that. It's a waste of time. I would do something else if that was the case. I really believe in myself to be world champion and – uh that's my goal is to be world champion in UFC. Well, then. talk about training. I know you're over there at Dynamics now. Um, yeah. I'm uh, still currently with my boxing coach, Seb Zudi. Um, he gets me in phenomenal shape. He makes sure my boxing's uh, sharp. And um, I've been working with him. I also been, uh, now I'm over at Dynamics MMA working with Anthony Hardonk. Uh, this will be my second MMA fight underneath him. But I've been, this is my first time ever being at one place, doing one thing at one place. Before I used to travel all over the place, Black House, I used to go to Chad Georgia, I used to be all over the place. It's the first time I have a structural, uh, I'm very structured now. Uh, Anthony has me on a schedule. The first time I ever, I have ever done that. So I'm very blessed to be there. And, uh, I'm excited to showcase my skills on Saturday. How do you match up with Terry on now? How's the fight going to play out in your eyes? To be honest, I feel like I'm better than him everywhere. 
I'm going to shut his whole game down, whatever he decides to do. If he wants to play with that patty cake bullshit, I'll shut that shit down real quick. And, I mean, he's had some pretty good grappling. He submitted a black belt, I know, in RFA. And, you know, he's I been don't, doing I don't, well. I don't really know about that. Uh, people say he's the black. I don't know. He doesn't. He's, that guy, black. That was a few years ago, but everybody said he was a black belt. I don't, I don't think he was a legit black belt, to be honest. But he submitted him. That's great. But I don't see him doing that to me. Um, I feel like I have the upper hand on the wrestling. I have the upper hand on the jiu-jitsu part. I feel like I have the upper hand everywhere. So I, I will di- I will dictate the fight wherever it goes. I'll decide. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I know both of you guys are going to bring it. I, I expect more of a stand-up fight, but, hey, it's MMA. You never know what's going to happen here. So um, anything else you want to say, you know, leading into this fight Saturday night, right? Yeah, it's Saturday night. I'm very fortunate to, to be on the card. I, I want to thank George uh, Basmajian um, for having me on the card. Um also, the matchmaker, I would like to thank Carlos Ramirez and Steve Bash for having me on the card as well. Um, I'm excited. You know, it's been a long time coming. I'm 29 years, 29 years old. Uh, I've been doing this for professionally now. It will be nine years in June. So uh, I've been in the game for a long time. I feel like I've paid my dues, and I honestly feel like I'm too – not too good, but I, don't, I, I honestly feel like I don't belong in these small shows. Even though they're, they're they're a great opportunity for up and coming guys, but for me, I feel like I, I I feel like I'm surpassed that, and I believe being in a bigger show would, would be better. Well, looking forward to it, Sportsman Lodge this Saturday night. Can anybody watch it live? Is there a way? To on, yes, on SureDog.com. That's right. And then you can you, then you can kick uh, click the uh, the live stream CXF seven for the live stream. And also, yes. I'd like to uh, mention uh, my uh, sponsor, Lou Dryer, for sponsoring me for this fight. Thank you so much. And uh, that's about it. Thank you, Lou, and, for uh, thank you, Spencer for having me and giving me yeah. this opportunity to, uh, to talk to you. I think Lou, too, should even hook up uh, Lord Zilla, who's supposed to fight this Friday night on um, Lion Fight. So oh, yeah. yeah. That'll be good. And Lou's awesome taking care of you guys. Awesome video. Yeah. So necessary to make this dream work teamwork make the dream work all right jared thank you for the time look forward to it saturday night title fight thank you